a new toy today and I was kind of wondering if uh, you guys got any experience with them because it's going to be a learning experience for me. Got me a nice fogger, an electric one, so I can start really applying my soap nuts in IPM. Like an atomizer to, to like apply foliar or a fogger like to raise humidity? It's like uh, to apply foliar, it's handheld. Is it a chapin? You're gonna love that shit, man. Yeah, I don't really have any tips, but that's super nice, dude. Love, I love the. I've got an atomizer, but it's a big commercial one. I couldn't find a little handheld one. That'd be fucking nice. Send the link. It was only eighty bucks. Yeah, I'd like a link on that too, because I've been considering that after hearing some of the discussions on, like, you know, the actual use of the. They were talking about the use of the paint sprayers and greenhousing, but that discussion on droplet size just had me thinking because, like. I have a concrete sprayer, two gallon conch shape in that I'm using, and I just wonder if I'm in that similar range of what they're talking about with a paint sprayer, you know what I mean? Because when I, I was just using it, looking at it, and I'm like, it looks the same as like a paint, any paint sprayer I've freaking used before, the way that it's spraying. So I was just thinking. Of the yeah, you'll be able to tell a huge difference, man. When you get these atomizers, it's almost like a mist. It's almost like. Um, but, it's, but it's got a huge wind behind it. It's hard to describe. So imagine like a reverse vacuum cleaner, but that fogs, that fogs. So it's not quite fog. Like it doesn't form like into clouds or anything like that. But it's, it's like Jazz hands. the closest you can get to fucking straight smoke, but, but still spraying shit. It's hard to describe. But what's the greatest thing I've noticed of it is I've sprayed fucking all these different products with that fucking thing with lights on without using any other product like uh, transport or anything. Any clogging issues? No, never had clogging issues. I've never had. Right on. And the one I used was a Root Lowell. I think it's just called Atomizer. Which, which products does it matter the uh, droplet size on? I know that that's relevant for like microbes and stuff, but you're generally not foliaring tea. No, it's, well, it's microbes you don't want to shred. Right. Yeah, so you don't want to do that with the micro. You kill everything. But like, you'll, sh you'll shred them. So, like, what foliars is it really relevant on? Saponins or, you know, oils. Spartan, stuff like that. Spartan gave us one of these. I think Dude. it's relevant for pesticides. <laughs> Bro, look at this shit. Oh. Well, I was going to say that I have a paint sprayer that I use, but then I fucked it up because I used it with micronized sulfur. So, it obviously got clogged then. But so the paint sprayer is kind of just like if you had a really good pump sprayer that had like a good fine mist setting. And then the ionizers are more like if you ever have had like a really good humidifier, you know, I mean, that pumps out that like thick steam that mixed with those like grocery store sprayers. You know what I mean? It's just, it's like a lot finer particulate. So the paint sprayers are like more convenient because you're not pumping and squeezing shit with your hand as much, but it's not as like, fine of a mist as the ionizers are or the whatever they're called so this is a thing that i've always always <clears throat> want never could get an answer on because i would hear experts like for example mm -hmm. suzanne wainwright evans you know she's really good at talking to you like you're a child but uh you know it drives her crazy when people apply pesticides with paint sprayers and um I've heard people say it again and again and again, and they never would say why. I finally got the answer because I listened to a, I think it was a YouTube video on it. It was Future Cannabis Project, I'm pretty sure. Future Cannabis Project, you could probably search it. But um, specifically, they're talking about the paint sprayers. And, and the problem is, is for one, a paint sprayer is designed to spray paint on the wall. So it's designed to spray a 2D surface, you know, a flat wall and it uses gravity so when it sprays that paint on the wall gravity fills in in between you know what i mean so you get that even even coat well we're not spraying walls we're spraying plants we're, we're playing a, spraying a 3d plant you're not going to be able to get underneath the leaves you're not going to i mean you can if you get up underneath this way but then the way that this thing is designed is almost like a shotgun spread uh you got all these holes in between because the droplet sizes are so big you know, you can't get good coverage when your holes are this big, you know what I'm saying? So with the atomizers, it gets the droplet, water droplet size down to such a size that it, the droplets are so small, they can actually pass through 
the stomata of the plant leaves. So like if you're doing a foliar feed, you can actually hit inside the plant with it. You can actually shoot it right into the plant. So, um, so any foliar feed, any pesticide, I mean, you, you want to have 100% coverage on a 3D object. You're not painting a wall. You're not painting a flat surface. You're going to miss a lot of the plant with a paint sprayer, whereas when you had an atomizer, you just spray the fuck out of it. The atomizer I have sequence, um, if you're ready to spray something, let me know one time and I can come out with it. We just need to have a power source, like a long extension cord. You'll be amazed, man. It's portable. You, you sling it over your shoulder. I think it holds about two gallons. And I did... Uh, you got an industrial one. I've got an industrial size spot you got to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's fun to play with too. So, I mean, especially with bigger plants because, I mean, it, it shoots fucking... It's got some good... It's got some good pressure behind it. When you say that it's got a backpack, I don't know whether to picture Dale Gribble or whether to picture Steve Austin. Ghostbusters, this dude. Man. It's not oh, a backpack. It's just okay. a sling. It's just a sling. I can go grab it. I'll go grab it. So, One tell with Spartan Grown. My first thought, too, and this is just for discussion, but like Abash, you mentioned applying soap nuts and using the atomizer, but soap nuts being a surfactant, isn't that the whole idea that it's going to kind of break that surface tension and not leave droplets on the on the leaves? So, like, I don't know that it's what you need to do for applying soap nut, but I don't know. It's just a, it'd be a real easy way for me to hit every single part of the plant better than using my little handheld pump sprayer, I think, because oh, I'm yeah. just fogging that room. I'm going to hit every little bit. My walls, uh, the bottoms, all that. They'll clean all of it because it's in soap nuts. I use that to wipe down everything. And you can put those soap nuts right in your tank and just and just shoot like this. You can put them in the tank. So this is the sprayer. I think it's like a two-gallon tank on the bottom. And then... It's got like a cloud line fan on it. Holy shit. Yeah, it, it, yeah. I mean, like it's super it doesn't cool. Fuck, it doesn't fuck around. You just but you gotta plug it in. That's the so, only drawback. So that's the professional one. Break my spine and tell me how much that one costs. The other one is eighty bucks that I'm looking at now. What's Dude, this I don't. One? I don't even remember. I bought it so long ago, but it's, I bought it from Grow Green. Okay. That, that so. version is around three hundred dollars. Three hundred bucks. Okay. Here we go, Red. So worth it. Yeah, and like I've I've had it just for like I've had it for like five years, and it's worked just like it did for day one. And I've done outdoor seventy-two plant gardens with it. I mean, I've walked through and did a guy's whole seventy-two plant grow, big freaking trees, and it just keeps kicking. Things, it's I recommend it. It's it's, it's a good tool for atomizing services. DM Spartan at Spartan Grown on Instagram. Don't do that. <laughs> You know what else I seen that was cool on there when I was looking at the the sprayers and whatnot is Chapin has a a soap version for like you know cleaning tires and whatnot and it literally just shoots foam like crazy and uh, I know that foaming up the plants with the soap nuts is safe because that's how I do my dunks I emulsify the shit out of it in a jar and then I dunk it in there and it's literally covered in soap and eventually the soap just either runs down it or it just goes away. So I was thinking using that with a soap nut for like a serious knockdown. If you ever got like uh, spider mites or something that soap's really, really effective on, you could just dominate those things with that uh, foam or that foam sprayer. Give the ladies put some fucking dance music on. Fuck yeah, give it a foam party. You already got. You already got the lights with your uh, computer, your speakers and shit. Hell yeah, dude. I was already thinking I had to get a fog machine back here because of all this fog talk, all the fogger talk. Oh. I hate goodbyes. <laughs> uh, Lloyd. Shh. Damn button. Press the goddamn button! You heard what she said.